Hi fellow makeup fans, today I'm going to do a video on MAC lipsticks. Uh, the gorgeous Tiger Mate 81 asked me to do more in-depth videos about um, my MAC lipsticks and I thought I'd split them up in two sort of different colour bands and I'd start with my favourite which is purples. Um, yeah, so I've got quite a few. I was kind of, I started this video about four different times. I was like, no, I forgot that colour. Oh, I forgot that colour. So yeah, <laughs> as you can see, I've got purple lips on today. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take you through all my MAC purple lip products. These are the ones that I'm pretty sure I've got all of them here in front of me now. Um, you will be able to see there's quite a few of them because purple is actually my one of my favourite lip colours to wear. Sorry such a neat freak <laughs> so we're gonna some of them are not true true purples some of them have like a berry sort of hint to them but they are basically purple um, if that makes sense hopefully anyway we're gonna start with um, a very very deep purple um, I can't remember the collections for some of these so I'm really sorry about that um, I can tell you this one was limited edition and it's not available um, to purchase at the moment it's smoked purple very very deep color um, I don't know if I want to start swatching these, um, but I will swatch this one just so you can see. It's super deep. Absolutely love this. Very, very dark. Um, yeah, I love that one. Um, Got to be pretty brave to wear some of these purples. I have to add um, because they are very strong colours. Sorry, I just need to quickly move that back. I need to get some room here. That's better. I've got room to manoeuvre now. Um, yeah, so that's a very black and sort of deep blackberry purple and um, which is really really lovely it's very dramatic but I would go for a very sort of simple eye with that although today I've got quite a lot of color on and I apologize for that because I was just kind of messing around with color um, but yeah that's something where I would wear kind of an ivory creamy colored eye probably some black eyeliner and then just um, rock the really dark blacky purple lipstick it's absolutely gorgeous um, the next one is the one I've got on now, and this is actually one of the casual colours. So this is Evening Stroll. That's what this one looks like. That's it there. So as you can see, it's just a really gorgeous purple. I've got it on the lips now. It comes out really nice. It's a nice purple. It's quite muted, so it's not like a bright in your face purple. I think it's really nice. It kind of reminds me of Up the Amp, but just in a dil more diluted format. And this actually looks really pretty on the cheeks as well, because I've tried that too. Um, these are quite dry on the lips, I would say. So I have actually got a gloss over the top of them. Um, but I love this. I think it's a really nice colour. And these are really long lasting on the lips. So that is the casual colour in Evening Straw. Now we'll move on to the ones that are just basically lipsticks. So the first one that comes to hand, these are not in any particular order. Um, the next one is Cyber, which is another very, very dark one. And I will swatch that one. This is very similar to Smoke Purple. It just has more warmth to it. It's got a bit more of a burgundy tone to it. I don't know if that's going to pick up well on this camera. But that is Smoke Purple and that one is Cyber. I find it just has a bit more gloss to it um, and it just has a bit more sort of a burgundy tint so it gives it a little bit more rich warmthness. Again it's a lovely very dark rich colour and I really love this one and that one is a satin finish. Sorry I don't think I just mentioned the, the smoke purple. I put it away now. Sorry about that. But anyway I will try and remember with the rest of them. So yeah satin which is why it's kind of nice and glossy. So that is that one. The next one is Dish It Up and it looks like this. This has quite a berry tone to it, this one. And I will swatch that As you can see it's a totally different colour. There it is there. So this very much reminds me of Up The Amp. Um, I will try and swatch that one next actually. I'll try and pick that one up next to put next to it. This is a lovely purple but it does have some cerise tones to it so it's not like a true purple um, and it's probably a little bit more wearable if you don't want to go for the full on purple lip. I'm just going to see if I can quickly find up the amp so we can do that one next. Up the amp. Dish it up as a luster, so it does have that lovely sort of gloss about it. I find they're very creamy. Up the amp is an amplified, so it's a pretty full on colour. 
that's what this one looks like. Now I find that this one is one of the most to see the lipsticks from MAC because this looks totally different on absolutely everybody that I see. Uh, it looks completely different on me. I noticed Shell X85X had it on one day and it looks gorgeous on her but it looks completely different on her than it does to me. Um, but that is what it looks like. So as you can see it's not identical because Dish It Up has a bit more of a cerise tone to it and Up The Amp is definitely more purple but there is some similarities when it's on the lip actually. It just totally reminds me of it. It's very very similar just without the true purple to it. Um, the next one Oh, sorry, I should, did I tell you? Up the Amp is part of the normal collection. Dish It Up was unlimited edition, so you can't buy that one now, but you can buy Up the Amp. The next one is a luster. It's Budding Love, and this is actually a limited edition one as well. Sorry, guys, I'm not mentioning collections. Can't quite remember. There's so many MAC collections. This is just a very lilac-toned, lavender sort of lipstick. I really like this one. It's quite a gentle sort of introduction to purple. So if you're not confident with wearing the tr true full on purple, that's it there. As you can see, I don't know if you can see the coloration there, it's just very um, a pale sort of lavender purple. It's quite nice and wearable. Um, yeah, so that one is called Budding Love and it's a luster. I love those light colours, sometimes you don't want to go for an all on vampy, super dark lipstick but I do love wearing purple so sometimes it's nice to be able to wear something that's in between the very bright ones and the very dark ones. It's nice to find a bit of middle ground. The next one is a luster and it's called Plum Bright. This was part of a collection so you can't purchase this one anymore either. As you can see that one's got quite a dark colour to it. But when you put it on the lip you're quite surprised. You would think it would come out very much like cyber or smoked purple. So that's it there and there's the two darker colours underneath. So it's not quite as dark um, it's, but it, it does have a lovely true purpleness to it. I really love that one. It's gorgeous. Again that's got a little bit of a burgundy hint into it like an underlying sort of burgundy purple which just means it's like a little bit darker in tone. But I really love that one. The next one is very bright, it's an amplified, it's called Violetta. This was originally out as part of the Disney Villains collection, then it came out again. I can't remember what collection it came out again with, but that is what it looks like. As you can see, this one is obviously a lot brighter. And I've swatched that one. I, find, I think this one has quite a nice sheen to it. It's quite a metallic sort of sheen to it. So that is that one there. So that is Violetta. I absolutely love wearing violet. It's really, really bright and in your face. It's gorgeous. Um, the next one is called Playtime. This was from the Quite Cute collection. I do remember this one. This one's a cream sheen, so it's super creamy. It's really lovely. Feels lovely and rich on the lips. That's what it looks like. Now, I'm sorry if I'm out of focus here, but I'm trying to keep it in the focus that gives you the opportunity to see the lipsticks better. Now, this is not like... Um, it doesn't come across as super pigmented. So that's playtime there. So it's just quite a nice gentle sort of purple. So that's kind of something you'd wear if you like the purple trend, but you didn't want to go for something quite so full on. Um, the next one, I'll stick with the Ordinary Mac lipsticks first before we go on to the others. So we'll move on to Heroin, which is a matte. This was from a recent collection. And I wasn't sure if I was going to get this one because I thought it would be quite similar to other ones I had but I'm glad I did because this is a very rich warm purple. Um, it's quite opulent, that's it there. So as you can see it is quite different from any of the other, other colours that I have. I just think this is a proper true purple and I really love that and it's a matte but it's really creamy and rich on the lips. I might put that on the end actually. Um, the next one is Pink Popcorn and it's a luster. This is quite similar to Budding Love. I just um, I got it because I thought that it, it did have some differences in that this is more of a pink toned lavender. Um, and you will see the two of them together actually. So that is pink popcorn there, whether my camera picks that up or not. And Budding Love is literally just underneath it. So yeah, it's um, pinker than Budding Love, um, that one. And well because it's it's called pink popcorn so it kind of gives you that hint but it does have kind of a lilac tone to it. It's not a true lilac though, you, you're going to see a true lilac now. Um, this is one of my favourites, I love this one. And this is from the Quite Cute collection, it's called Quite Cute. Again, limited edition on this one. Sorry if I'm forgetting to mention some of them. 
Um, this one is just a beautiful lilac. I absolutely love wearing this particular colour. It's a true lilac and it, I think it just looks really, really pretty on the lips. And that is that one. I don't even know if you'll pick that up because it's quite a light colour, but that's that one there. The last four are um, different kinds of lipsticks. Um, the first one, we'll stick with these ones first. These are Pro Longwear Lip Creams. This one is called Gores and Gores. I've got two Pro Longwear Lip Creams in purple colours. This is Gores and Gores. That's what that one looks like. This is a really pretty colour. Now, um, this one is very much a blue based purple and you can actually see that it is blue based when it's on the lips, not so much in the swatch, but it does come up as a very blue based colour when you actually wear it. That's that one there. So it's a blue be type purple. It's really pretty though, I really like it. It's very different to any of the other purples that I've got. And the other one, also pro long wear, is Seasoned Plum which is going to look the same on camera in fairness um, but it doesn't swatch the same this isn't a blue based one and you will see the difference of them side by side hopefully the camera will pick up on that Season Plum is here and Gauze and Gauze is there Season Plum is a nice purple but it does have sort of a cerise undertone to it so it just makes it that little bit warmer the next one is a Sheen Supreme lipstick and this one is in Asian Flower and that is the colour of that one and this is different as well it looks the same as the others this is the thing with MAC lipsticks you really sometimes have to get out of the shops and swatch them and try them because they can look very similar when you look at them in the bullet and when you get them on the lips or as you swatch them you'll see that's that one there so Asian flower is that one again very warm very cerise you can see it's completely different to the other two even it looked look like exactly like them in the bullet it doesn't look like that when you wear it it's got pink tones to it that one it's really really pretty actually on the lips um my favorite purple um of the lot i guess i'd probably say is this one i hope they re-release it at some point i kind of wish i'd gotten two it's called fervent i kept the packaging for this because it's so pretty uh, this is the Gareth Pew collection. Love the packaging, it's gorgeous. I got both the lipsticks in that collection. Yeah. And the packaging is really pretty. It's kind of the only one I've really shown you the packaging for. Um, but yeah, love this. It's got like the X on the top. This is just a beautiful, beautiful purple. Gorgeous, love it. I love wearing this. Um, oh, I didn't tell you the finish on this one. This is a satin. And I'll swatch that one as well. This has a very rich tone to it. It comes up, um, it will look similar to some of the other colours, but it's just, it's so much richer on the lips. It is very similar to Cyber, but it just does have more of a red, ready sort of tone to it. Really, really beautiful. I mean, that's all of them together. You can see there are some similarities, but they're not all the same. But this is just absolutely stunning. It's got that red warmth underneath it. It's very, very rich. It's very shiny. It feels beautiful on the lips. So this is one of my favourite ones. I absolutely love it. But I love wearing purple lipsticks. I just think it's quite different. And since I had the hair done this colour, I feel like I can get away with a bit more <laughs> and be a bit dramatic. Uh, this is heroin, which as you can see looks very bright on the lip. I would normally wear prep and prime however i find the casual color bit the casual color creams are very good as a base they do seem to hold the lipstick very well i actually use lip liners with these colors though so i wouldn't normally just put this on i'd put um sometimes i put on my urban decay pencil which kind of lines the lips and just prevents it from bleeding outwards because that is something that you are susceptible to with very dark colors oh my goodness oh yes there it is that's this one, it's called Ozone. It looks like it's a white one, it's not. It's basically, you can't even see it. It's a wax more than anything and it just stops the bleeding. I highly recommend this if you wear dark lipsticks. You don't wanna go around and buy a ton of lip liners to match all your lipsticks. Then this is an excellent thing for you to have because it just goes with absolutely any color and it stops the bleeding of the lip line of your dark colors. So I definitely recommend Ozone for that. Um, I also use Max Lip Erase as a base and the Prep and Prime. Very good at keeping your lip colours on for longer. And I, lip liner wise, <coughs> I use this one. 
Uh, this one is by MAC. This is one of the chromographic pencils, I believe. Yes, it is. This is in rich purple. That's what the end of it looks like. And that is the swatch of it there. It is a beautiful, rich colour. So, yeah, that's like all of them. And then I do have a couple of glosses, which I will try and get out without disturbing the camera too much here. I don't have many purple glosses. Um, I did try and get hold of a few, but they're quite rare, to be honest. It's a bit difficult. I'm going to turn it off for a okay, second. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, I do have a couple of purple ones. Um, I have this one. And it's kind of a more purple tone. This looks really lovely um, on up the amp. Um, and that is probably because this is, is this up the amp? Oh no, this is Narcissus, actually. So Narcissus, I go for more of the sort of warmer toned, lighter, mid-toned purples. It's really, really nice, this one. And it is a cream sheen glass. I can't remember if it's limited edition or anything like that, but it's really pretty. And it's really creamy and not sticky at all so i really love narcissus and it's actually really nice on its own it's got beautiful color pair to it and the next one is up the amp oh no it's not it's rebel here we go again um i got rebel because i absolutely love the color rebel the lipstick i have got rebel in there actually i didn't pull that one out because i felt that had a bit more of a berry tone to it um i probably will include that in my sort of pink colors but that is rebel <laughs> And this one is a lip gloss, um, so these are very shiny, they're really really pretty and this was from a recent collection where they actually took favourite lip colours and they made nail varnishes and lip glosses to match and that's a really pretty one. And then the last one is a one I would, couldn't tell you the collection but it's a super glass and it's called Fab Frenzy. This is just absolutely stunning this one. Look at all the glitter particles in there gorgeous so i love that one yeah so that is that one so i don't have many purple glosses um other than that the only other purple gloss i've got is i have got an illamasqua one that i picked up in a sale which is a really lovely purple and i wear that with these purple lipsticks as well but that's all of them quite a lot really 15 um but i do think they're all very different and i i love wearing them so because i really think that purple kind of suits me kind of not so sure today because I have got purple eyes and quite dramatic blusher on um but yeah I enjoy playing around with these colours so that's it for my purple lipstick video I'll probably do my MAC reds next time don't have a great sorry don't have a great deal of them but I still would love to share them with you I'm actually just thinking I have got another one here I don't know if it's no it's definitely a red sorry i just kind of wanted to make sure that i didn't leave anything out because i have got my winter collection ones separate um but i will do sort of reds all the red toned ones so going from very dark blood rich red ones to the paler reds so that'll be my next mac lipstick video it's not going to be my next video but it will be the next one that i do and i will do a comparison video that somebody has requested so that's it for now i hope you've enjoyed this video any questions or comments please leave them below and thanks very much for watching see you all soon Bye.